Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 7 to the Sky. And yes, our sugarcane is going to the sky. So, that's going to be kind of sad when I have to break that. Uh, I've ran into a few issues. I've noticed, well mainly actually it was just power. And also I was looking at how I was uh, doing my, while well, I was doing my editing. And I talk a lot whenever it comes to just making normal things that... Really, I shouldn't be having to talk about too much. Uh, most of you who've watched my channel for a while know that I try to do things more of a tutorial base, but I think for now on, I'm going to keep a middle note on how I'm doing things and everything. Like, basically, whenever I'm crafting, I'm not going to sit here and count everything out. I'm going to get the stuff around, craft it in front of you, if it's the first time crafting it, and then go about what we're doing. Uh, I might save a lot of time and a lot of editing issues. So, that's why most of my videos have been actually quite long here lately, I've noticed. So, main thing right now, we are going to try and get a few things in cover. Actually, let's go ahead and cover what the issue is. Well, mainly is power. Power is becoming more and more of an issue because I cannot run all this equipment at the same time. So, we're going to have to augment these a little bit more. Uh, hopefully, get up to the next tier of the integral uh, components. That word was a little hard to say. And also get this auxiliary reaction chamber. It's going to increase the power output by quite a bit. And hopefully I'll be able to run everything a little bit better. Uh, in between episodes, I did set this up to kind of just make a lot of ice just in case. I put a downgrade in here. Really quite simple. Luckily, the recipe is pretty cheap uh, for mo compared to most of the other ones. But yeah. And we have actually backstuffed on gold. Uh, that's what kind of shocked me right there. Our obsidian is already filled, and I did also realize I have in stone and ne or nether rack right here, so I could get a lot of the other things that I haven't had, like ender pearls. That's a lot easier to get. Just crushed obsidian in here, you have a chance to get them. So let me go ahead and let's get this stuff ready for both these. The components, they're not too expensive. All I'm going to need is some. Enderium, hardened glass, and lumium. Lumium uh, is just pretty much glowstone, tin, and silver. So, got glowstone, got tin, got silver. Not a, a super amount of glowstone, just a, a little bit, but enough to get us by. And I'm going to have to make quite a few of them. I want to go ahead and replace all these. That's two, four. Uh, about 10 of them and we can also increase the capacity in here but i'm gonna have to do this a little weird because if you change this out before like you pull this one out and you put the new one in you're going to lose a lot of energy in there especially if you're already past the standard mark so let me go ahead and get all the stuff i need and we'll get started on that all right everybody while that was i was waiting on this i noticed i needed more plates and everything so I decided to actually try and do something real quick, and that is going to be making a cast for the multi-server press. And that one's actually pretty easy, you just need a diamond gear of any type, and there we go. So when I want gears, instead of using a single piece of iron nuggets, I can just simply just throw it in here with this uh, gear work die, and it would just basically work. So, uh, I would like to increase this one right here so we're gonna need lumium gears so i shouldn't need too many i can just go ahead and throw this in here and get it started look how fast that is that's great there's four of those and looks like i ran out ender pearls really quick luckily i was getting platinum from sorry about that my That was weird. My mouse was uh, acting funny. So there we go. Our first resonant kit. Now I would like to put it in here just to make sure it has enough speed. And I'll go grab some more inner pearls. I'm probably going to have to sift a few more things of in stone and it should be fine. But yeah, that's as fast as it's going to get. So let me uh, start upgrading these and then we can look at the next one, which is going to be getting these 
auxiliary reaction chambers, which is not too bad. You just need signal and plates. And I'm gonna need about seven of them, so that's not too bad. Just 14 signalum. Throw it in there, and it should be ready in just a few minutes. So let me get to uh, crafting the rest of these. And I'm going to have to basically sit here and open this up, drop that in, and then pull that out. So that's going to be the process for the next little bit. So I'll be back in just a minute whenever we have everything kind of set up back here. And then we're going to throw those in, and then we'll see how much power we're actually getting. All right. I was actually really far off on this. I needed 42 of them. And I'll make me 21, and there we go. Quest complete. Now, these are going to go from 160 uh, to 640. Wow, that is a big increase. Um, yeah, we should not need power for a little bit. That was the whole plan behind this. Now, if our lava can keep up and everything, that would be awesome. But I don't know if it will. And this one needs to have this one switched out. Yeah, 640 times 7. I, I don't know what that is. 4,200, somewhere around there. And yeah, that thing is climbing quite rapidly. And I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with lava production. Yeah, you can kind of see it's dropping a little bit. Not that big of a deal right now, because once this thing fills up, these things will slow down. So it'll just be a giant boost of power whenever I needed it. So that is a great idea right there. Let me eat my worms real quick. Yummy. And yeah, everything should be running perfectly fine. I do need to increase uh, a few more of these. And yeah, I'm just going to need a little bit more or endarium. Because if I want to max out some of these other machines, like the redstone furnace and multi-server press, just so it can go a little bit faster, I'm going to need a few more of those resonant conversions kit or whatever they call nowadays so all right everybody just like i thought was going to happen we ran out of lava so i went ahead i know we're not going to stick with lava the whole time but just as a starting power i think that's going to be pretty good so what i'm going to do is just add three more of these really quick on the down and make these orange that should, once I hook these all up, work properly. So let me get this all kind of set up. It doesn't take me too long, but it's still a little time consuming. And I keep forgetting that there's other buttons in this thing. Like that. But yeah, so basically we just ran out. And with that, we are actually having a increase, not very fast, but fast enough. Now, the last thing I want to do is drop this in, which brings it up to 16 million. And we can have max input and max output. And that's going to just kick them on for a little bit. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect for right now. It won't. It's going to be kind of stable, but not like completely stable. But it will work for the time being. It's not like we're going to use all that constantly. We are not in the stage of the uh, mod pack where we're going to be using constant power. Besides for the next project. The next project is going to be actually a uh, applied energistics so i want to get that kind of out of the way just so i don't have to sit here and walk over here craft and do like this constantly it's a little bit time consuming i am doing my best for you guys not to have to deal with that but yeah it is a little time consuming for me to be sitting here constantly going back and forth so there are a few things that we're going to need one is going to be skystone skystone is pretty easy we can just get it basically from uh putting law or sky stone into a bit of lava like kind of like how we were doing the obsidian earlier and you notice there's a chest over here which i can access and that's basically what we're going to do uh i'm just going to have this set a node into here on its own little channel and it's going to basically rotate or pull in and out of the chest and put in make sky stone so basically I'm going to show you guys what it's going to do. I'm not going to, uh, there we go. Walk you guys completely through it, but basically, there you go. 
And now with our lava being used a little bit more because of these, which it should increase over time, but it should, uh, we could slowly have this thing start building up. So let me get this set up real quick and find a channel I haven't used yet. All right, everybody. I noticed a little bit of a flaw with my idea. Uh, with the, char not the charger, the inscriber, you're going to need sticky pistons. Well, sticky pistons, you're going to need uh, slime balls or something equivalent of that, which there are a few things that we could do. Uh, one is to get in Tinker's Construct really quick and get a little bit of slime balls. But I would like to get some of these uh, Skystone being crushed. So that's going to open up the quest right there. Look at that. And that is the start of Applied Energistics, which is going to be a great thing to do. Um, we get quite a bit of things ahead. Service Quartz and 10 XP. But the rest of it, it's going to be a little bit uh, harder to do. So it doesn't really give much information on how to get slimes or anything like that. And we can get service court seeds, but I'm going to need to get in a mechanism to make that a lot easier. So, and we got charged. That's actually kind of nice. So I want to make the market real quick, and that is not too difficult. It's just going to be wood, wood, and red wool. Ah, wait, 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 wait. We actually have a way to do it. I don't have to get all complicated. I did not realize I had red mushrooms, which we're not going to need too many. Just about four. And that should be it. That's going to make it our life a lot easier. And I have witch water right here. And there we go. Four slime blocks. Which, yeah, that's going to last us quite a bit of time. Um, I, super, I did not realize I had those in there. So that's going to, like I said, save us a lot of time and effort. And we're not going to worry about things so much. I'll make the market later if I need it. And this is the newest version. And one weird thing I didn't know. Uh, they put this in here. Where we can shift and like grow crops and everything. I like it, but I don't. Because every time I go by there, it grows more and more. So, eh, it is what it is. All right. So let me get all the stuff I'm going to need to make all this. We have everything right here that we're going to need for most of it. Uh, we're just going to need to make an uh, energy, energy engineer wow. processor. So it's just going to be a little bit of diamond silicone. Uh, that is real easy. All we have to do is take some nether quartz and smelt it down. Matter of fact, I'm going to go one step further and put it in here. Oh, you can't put it in there. Can I put it in here? Can't do that. Okay. I guess you're only going to accept this. All right, there we go. And that's going to get us three stacks of it, and that should be plenty for now. Just go ahead and get a fourth one just to be on the safe side. And that's going to be all the silicone we're going to need for a while. But uh, let me get the materials needed to make all this stuff really quick. All right, everybody. I was thinking how I could do this real easy. Uh, but there is an issue with this. The fact that I have to figure a way to get all the power and everything and, like, move everything over. So I might just hook into one of these and kind of just have the power go into there. Which seems like to be the easiest thing. I don't know. I guess it does connect. All right. We got that. Um, now we just need to make the inscribers. Inscribers. The sticky pistons. Go. We got that. And now the inscribers. Got five of those. One charger. And there we go. That is the first bit of this quest done. Uh, Fluix. Um, normally you have to combine uh, Nether Quartz, Redstone, and Charged. But we kind of lucked out. We have this. And this, I think there is not really that many ways that we can make this into Fluid Crystals. Besides the fact of basically putting it in water. Uh, that's about it. It takes about 20 minutes. Ooh, that's a long time. Or I can make a quick enrichment chamber. I think we might go the quick enrichment chamber process because that's going to be a little bit faster and I don't have to sit here and wait. But just to give you an idea of how it works. 
Let me grab some sand and then we we'll throw it in some water. There we go. Take the this and put them together and you'll get two uh, fluke seed for each one. And then we just casually throw it in water. But I think I have a magnet or something. No, I do. Yeah, I do. But oddly, it's not picking it up. I'm not complaining. And now you look at it, it's 1.12. So it's going to take a while, uh, that process. So let's go ahead and just get an enrichment chamber real quick. Let me grab all the stuff I'm going to need. I know it's for these and a few other things. Actually, that might be a little more process intense, I think. Let me come back in a minute and I'll see if I got, can get the stuff around real quick. So I don't want to be jumping into too many different mods at once. All right. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Got kind of something set up. Uh, basically, I'm just pulling power from down there. I don't know if it's charging these or not. Uh, the only way we can find out is after we make the stuff. Now, what we're going to need also is the presses for all this and those aren't too bad uh just inscriber and i just have to get a few things i need about five four iron plates so pretty easy on that and then we just need the respected items so silicone's gonna need silicone so forth and so forth so let me grab four of this get four plates made up and try to put some stuff away because I'm getting tired of having everything on me. And the last thing we we're going to need was the respected items. So I don't need the copper anymore. But we're going to need a diamond. Uh, quartz, we got that on us. And silicone, which is going to be over here. And I think that's about it. No, gold. We need gold. I don't know why I forgot that, because that's one of the most important ones. Because you use that one quite a bit. So, to see if this is working, I guess this is a good way to find out. So, each one of them needed a skystone up in the top. Uh, it was whatever it was supposed to be in the middle, but you can't put it in. Okay, so that's probably because we don't have that one in. And it has power. Nice. So let me get the rest of these done. That shouldn't take me too long. And there we go. We got all four of them. Um, like I said, most of this is not going to be permanent. But I do like to have the gold one at this end. And silicone right here. This is just basically where I craft everything. And this one should be the... Service quartz, and that's going to be the uh, diamond one, if I remember right. Nope, got it backwards. But let me get something kind of set up for the process of using all this. And I know whenever I did this in a different series with this uh, setup, we had to filter a lot of stuff that went in and out. So I'm probably going to need a few more filters. I did put laser I.O. at the bottom of everything. So... This should be a pretty simple process of getting things in and out as fast as possible. So once we get this done, we should be able to move on to actually building the spaceship. All right, time to test to see if this all works. All right, now it's time to test to see if all this works. That was not what I was meaning to put in there, but everything should be going into its correct spots. We got gold going back in, coming back into here, and then I guess it's just not fast enough to be pulling out. So I might have to increase this one right here. So let me get some overclockers real quick. And that should fix the problem. And like that, we also have those. Nice. I forgot about... I completely forgot about those. All oh, right, I, that was my bad on that one. Basically, I didn't set it up to where it was getting them from the 
uh, east. It was just partial. So now, why are you inserting in there? There we go. That should be everything working. There we go. We got our first one. Now I can throw all this stuff back in here. And it should run for a little bit and should get everything what we're going to need. But yeah, getting those is actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to do the rest of this. But we got the infrastructure set up. Let me check to see how much time I have left. And if so, I'll just let this run. All right, everybody. It looks like we are at that wrapping up point. Uh, we did get the processors all automated, so that's awesome. We can get uh, started with really the AE2 system in the next episode, but uh, that's going to make things a lot easier. We're going to have to move things around and everything, but I just also want to say thank you if you stuck around this long. If you like this content, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and until next time, you guys are amazing, like always. Later, everybody. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.